through which matrimony was ordained. First, it was ordained for the increase of mankind, according to the will of God, and that children might be brought up in the fear and nurture of the Lord, and to the praise of his holy name. Secondly, it was ordained in order that the natural instincts and affections implanted by God should be hallowed and directed aright, that those who are called of God to this holy estate should continue there in pureness of living. Thirdly, it was ordained for the mutual society help and comfort that the one ought to have of the other, both in prosperity and adversity, into which holy estate these two persons present come now to be joined. Therefore, if any man can show any just cause why they may not lawfully be joined together, let him now speak. 